welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, welcome to, um, is it episode 10 already of Bliss and Tell? Um, I'm back in my regular spot in my writing office. So um, no shenanigans this week. Uh, I wouldn't be on the roof anyway because it's uh, the temperature has gone down. Winter has arrived in Hong Kong. Um, so we are back uh, from Singapore. I'm back in my writing office. Everything is back to normal, which is great. Um, so let's get on with the show. Um, I don't have a lot of writerly highlights. Um, because uh, I was on holiday most of the week. We got back from Singapore uh, Wednesday evening, late, plane delay, luggage delay. <laughs> anyway, um, so it is now Friday before lunch when I record this, so I had one day of work this week. It was a good day though, because, um, well, I didn't do that much yesterday, just, you know, catching up on a million, million of, millions of emails, well, not a million, obviously. <laughs> Can you tell I'm prone to exaggerate sometimes a little bit? Anyway, uh, the main things that I'll be doing this week, but I haven't, actually haven't done yet, that I will be doing this afternoon, is I'll be sending Release the Stars to my launch team, which is very exciting. And we'll be sending Christmas Kisses, our the Lady Lit Mini Anthology, to to the distributor, so that will be out next week. So um, that's that's about it uh, work-wise, but of course my highlight of the week was Singapore. Singapore is an amazing city and uh, we were there for five days, four nights, so almost five full days. And uh, it's great. I mean, it was rainy season, so there were a few downpours, but you know, there's plenty to eat and drink in Singapore. So, uh, so what I to eat mainly, uh, both Caroline and I, favorite dish is the katong laksa, which is like this noodle in a, in a sort of curry soup, curry fish soup. Oh, it's delicious. If you ever get the chance to try the laksa, it doesn't have to be the katong laksa. It's just laksa, it's just delicious. We converted uh, Caroline's mum as well. Her godmother was was there, so uh, yeah, it was a fun time. Uh, people are so friendly in Singapore, unlike any in Hong Kong. Um, it's, it's just so much more spacious. It's very clean. It's very green. I just it's it's a very easy city to to wander around in. So I I really enjoyed. Alcohol is very expensive though. They have these ridiculous ta these ri ridiculous taxes on alcohol. It would be good to stop drinking. <laughs> anyway, so Singapore was definitely my highlight of the week. But now uh, it's back to work, which is, you know, I don't mind because I love my job. So uh, what's coming next week? Quite a bit. Um, so to check my list. Uh, so I got edits back from uh, Cheyenne, my editor for this book, uh, for Seasons of Love, and it was the first time, it's usually edits are accompanied by, you know, an editorial note stating all the things that are wrong with the book, you know, <laughs> always fun to get that. And um, for the first time since, you know, I've been getting edits back from an editor, it didn't feel like, like a massive punch in the gut, which is good, you know, but yeah, this book, Seasons of Love, um, I should, no, anyway. I was going to say something I wasn't supposed to say. I'll tell you later. So, um, I know that's awful, right? I should cut this out, but I don't know how to do that. Um, so, next week I'll be working mainly on uh, going over all the edits for Seasons of Love, writing probably writing a few new scenes. So, that will be done, but Seasons of Love will only be out uh, at the end of January because, of course, I have released the stars coming out first, you know, my crazy plan of uh, releasing full-length uh, book every month until the end of December 2016, you know, it's starting now. So uh, it starts when Release the Stars comes out. It's uh, I'm very, very excited because, you know, felt for the longest time it felt like I didn't have anything coming out. So I'm super, super, super excited. So next week, edits, and then we will be doing 
loads and loads of plotting for um, the spy novel so uh, which I will start writing um, the week after so we've we've made some progress uh, Caroline and I we, we did a bit of plotting in Singapore um, came up with uh, you know the outline the, the overall outline and overall story arc for for the series for our main character which of which I will rename uh, reveal the name soon, I hope. Um, so we made progress, but we, there is a lot of details that we that we need to write down and get sorted out. So next week we will be doing a lot of plotting. So um, and then of course Christmas kisses will be out our uh, Christmas anthology, mini anthology, you know, with the usual uh, five uh, authors of which I am one. So that's all for next week. So, well, there, there are not that many writerly things to talk about this week. So we'll talk about, uh, I'll just talk about me, you know. <laughs> As I said to my wife, I'll just talk about my favorite subject, me. <laughs> so I thought since the year is about to end, you know, there's only a couple of years, le uh, a couple of weeks left, I would talk about my two favorite books uh, of the year. So I'm doing the Goodreads challenge, you know, I wanted to read 30 books this year. I, I've, I've read 29. So I just started my 30th. Actually, I've read, I've read quite a few more, but you know, I don't, I don't list all my bo all the books I, I read on Goodreads. So um, my two favorite books, uh, one is literary fiction, it's called A Little Life, and I need to read the name of the author because I cannot remember. Hanya Yana Gihara. I'm probably not pronouncing that right at all, but the title of the book is A Little Life. Um, and uh, this is, there is no contest. This is my book of the year. This is the best book I've read all year. But um, to say that I would recommend it, I haven't even recommended it to my wife because usually, you know, I read a book and I say to my wife, oh, you have to read this book. But this one, I, I just, it, it is a grueling book. You know, I think the theme of the book is, you know, just it's how, how much pain can one person endure in, in their lifetime, you know. And the main character, it goes, Jude, oh, what was his last name again? Anyway, the main character, an orphan, he gets he needs to endure a lot and it is absolutely grueling i stayed up quite a few nights with this book well not yeah and i i was just reading in bed and caroline was already sleeping and i was just crying 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 I, was, I mean in ways it's an it's an absolutely awful book it is the opposite of uplifting but uh, it's written beautifully and it's just you know it, it was a journey and it was just you know there was even though some passages were just too much you know that you know like the stuff of nightmares not 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 like horror or anything it's just but um i had to keep on reading you know it was it was it's definitely my book of the year and to say i would recommend it if 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 your main genre is lesbian romance with happy endings uh, I wouldn't. Then I wouldn't recommend it. It's it's also it's a very long book. I think it's about seven hundred pages. Um, but yeah, it's my book of the year just because it was it was different. It was very challenging. It made me think about a lot of things, and um, you know, it made me put my own misery <laughs> in perspective a bit. So that was one of my books of the year. The other one uh, is a spy novel, I Am Pilgrim, uh, by by Terry Hayes. Uh, I really, really enjoyed that book. Uh, this was like a real page turner, and this is like the kind of book that I that I want to write myself. But then, you know, with a lesbian protagonist, how, how awesome would that be? I kept saying while I was while I was reading this book, I said. Oh, I kept saying to Caroline because you know I, this is one of the books that I told her I oh, start reading this now, and I said, "Oh God, would, how awesome would this book be if the main character was a lesbian?" <laughs> so this is what I want to do, right? So uh, I really, really enjoyed enjoyed that book. I love that it was written in uh, in the first person present tense, which is my favorite part. So oh, something happened. Oh, 
I don't know, my screen went black. I couldn't see myself for a second. Uh, so these are my two favorite books of the year. Um, so they're not lesbian romance because I, I think I've, t I've, I've talked about this before. I, I actually don't read a lot of lesbian romance because I read to relax and, and well, I read, I read what we publish, obviously. Um, and I'm going to read Cheyenne Blue's new book, Never Tied Nora, because, you know, she's my favorite uh, lesbian fiction author. She's so good. Um, I get the privilege of working with her as my editor. So uh, I'm going to read that. So that's that's going to be my lesbian romance book of the year. Um, oh, what was I saying? Oh, I keep losing, losing my train of thought again, which is, you know, a regular occurrence. So my two favorite books of the year. And what else I want to say? Oh, yeah, I was going to talk about myself a little bit more. Um, so as of Monday, I am uh, going to start... I'm so sorry. <laughs> I think I just had breakfast. Um, no GNTs involved this time of the day. So as of next Monday, I would like I'm going to start a seven week detox and elimination diet because I mean 2015 has has been you know an overall pretty awesome year. You know we moved to the island, all of that. Work has been good. Uh, my books have done well. All of that fine. But health-wise, it has not. It has been my worst year ever, probably. Not just you know because my surgery went wrong during the summer, although that was that was very traumatic for me because I never had surgery before, and to have to go through all that shit afterwards and the leeches and the endless doctor visits and another surgery and rotting flesh inside of me, it was it was quite traumatic, but. Aside from, because I mean, well, actually my wound, I still have a wound on my right breast that is like teeny, 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 tiny, but it's still a wound and it still hasn't completely healed yet. So, uh, but aside from that, I've been, you know, I have gravely neglected uh, my health. Uh, Hong Kong has not been good for me, you know. I drink too much. I drink too much alcohol. I eat too much takeout because, you know, Hong Kong kitchens are tiny, tiny, and uh, I sit I sit on my ass too much. You know, I'm a writer. You know, what I do is I sit down and I write and I bang out words like. Tuk, 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 tuk. This is how I write. You know, two fingers, tuk, 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 tuk. which is which is not a good way to write because I have my shoulder hurts, my wrist hurts, all of that. So, um, you know. I'm, Plus, I have a lot of other uh, pains. It's been a very painful year for me, physically, not mentally, but uh, physically, I've been in a lot, in a lot of pain uh, this year, and I would like to uh, I would like to change that. So, uh, next week is the like the the preparation week where I stop drinking coffee and alcohol. Coffee. It shouldn't be too much of an issue. I actually only started drinking coffee. Like, Two years ago, I can drink green tea instead. That's not that much of an issue. But alcohol, that's going to be an issue. Because, as I said, you know, five o'clock is gin o'clock. What am I going to do? So, <laughs> I'll keep you posted on that. And then the other week, I uh, I already cut out sugar for a week. This was because when my family came to visit, they and my mom's friend brought like an entire suitcase of candy, chocolate, all sorts of chocolate. It was just too much, you know, and when I have it in the house, I want to eat it. This, this is the worst thing you can bring me, I thought to myself. I didn't say it to, to my mom's friend, obviously. I thanked her profusely for bringing me all this chocolate, but I cannot have it in the house. It's just all this sugar. So uh, I'll be cutting out uh, sugar again as well, and then when this the six week program actually starts, I'll talk about that next week. But um, I'll be cutting out gluten and dairy as well. So there's not much left, really. What am I gonna eat? Plants. <laughs> I'll let you know. <laughs> Might be cranky next week. <laughs> we'll see. Or maybe I'll just feel really good, you know. So 
on to the questions. So, Nikki, uh, questions from Nikki and Wendy, my two uh, regular question askers. Thank you so much, ladies, for this. So, the question from Nikki is, have you ever watched Queer as Folk? And yes, I have. Uh, I've watched the UK version and the US version. Enjoy them both. Um, maybe I enjoy the US version a little bit more because uh, they have a they have a lesbian couple prominently featured. It's not the case, I think, in um, the UK version. Oh, I actually don't remember. It's been years and years. Also, the UK version was much shorter than the US version, and I loved the mother. Oh, Debbie, the one who is played by one of Cagney and Lacey. Oh, I cannot remember her name. Not Tyne Daly, the other one. Oh, my wife, she would know. Where is she when I need her? Uh, anyway, I, I have watched it and I have thoroughly enjoyed it, even though it was completely over the top sometimes, you know. Just like the L word, you know. All we want is a little bit of representation. There is much more of that now, of course, you know, back in the day when Queer's Folk came out. It's pretty revolutionary, right? Just like the L word. So, um, yes, I, um, I have watched those. And Nikki had another question. What other genres of books do you like to read besides spy, mystery, erotica and romance? Sci-fi, horror or fantasy? Well, I kind of already, I talked about my two favorite books of the year and basically, uh, they're in the genres that I read. I, I like to read some pretty highbrow, not too much though, literary fiction. I do enjoy that. And um, I, like, uh, I like a good thriller. And these are the main, and I also read a lot of nonfiction actually. I read a lot of nonfiction about writing and marketing and craft, you know, for, for work. I read a lot of nonfiction about health. <laughs> I do. <laughs> You would think I'd be so healthy, right? Reading about it is so much easier than actually doing it. And uh, I, re I read, I do enjoy a good uh, celebrity memoir. I do, but I don't think I've read any this year. But apart from that, as far as nonfiction goes, I don't read horror, don't read sci-fi, and I don't read fantasy. It's just not my thing. I, I like for things to, to be... When I read a book, I like for it to be able to happen for real, you know, I like, I like real things. So uh, even if they're like overly dramatic, like my stories, you know, I, I don't read that many other genres. But, you know, if you want to know which books I read, uh, I'm on Goodreads, so you can see 90% of the books I read make it, uh, I list on Goodreads, so uh, yeah. These are the genres that I read. I hope that uh, that answers your questions, Nikki. Thank you for always being so supportive and nice. Uh, and then we have a question from Wendy, who is uh, there every week with a question, which is perfectly fine. So the question is, I love this question, by the way. Do you like Sarah Lancashire? Have you seen Last Tango in Halifax and Happy Valley? Yes, 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 of course I have. I love Sarah Lancashire. I think she is amazing. Um, but of course, The Last Tango in Halifax is another example of a TV show that the BBC is slowly starting to fuck up. Um, spoiler alert, I mean, they killed off the lesbian again! Oh, stop killing off lesbians, BBC! Christ's sake! Oh, sorry, something beat. Um, Although I, I do I do enjoy Last Tango in Halifax, but I because I was usually the new season is around Christmas, so I was looking the other day on the internet and um, it said that they don't even know when they're gonna shoot the next season because all the the main actors are too busy doing other things, you know. Again, they are they are the victim of their own success. I mean, lock them down, Co give them a contract for ten years for Christ's sake. Um, Plan for success, <laughs> BBC. So yeah, I, I do enjoy Last Tango in Halifax and I have also thoroughly enjoyed uh, Happy Valley. I think the new season might actually be starting soon. And I enjoyed it so much that um, my dream, my other dream series for to write in 2016 is a, is, a, is a detective series and the main character would be a mixture, a blend of uh, 
of Sarah Lancashire's characters in Lost Tango and in Happy Valley. So basically, she would be a lesbian detective. I mean, how awesome would that be? So I'll try. This is what I would like to do as well in 2016, to write a, a detective series. And uh, my main character, she might look a bit like Sarah Lancashire, I'll tell you that. I love her in Lost Tango and Halifax. She's a really good actress. So uh, I also like uh, the other one, uh, Nicola Walker. She was in a, in a show that we watched not long ago, uh, Unforgotten. I think it was on ITV. I really enjoyed that. Oh, I do love a good detective story, a good mystery. I would love to write one, but uh, we'll see. You know, I have to see if I'm, if, I, if I'm capable of it. We'll know soon enough. Anyway, oh, this is getting awfully long. I need to wrap it up. So this weekend, I'm going to see Freeheld. Oh, I'm quite excited about that, although I have to say I wish it was Carol. I am so looking forward to Carol. Uh, but I have no idea when it's coming out in, in Hong Kong. There is no release date for Hong Kong yet, so I'm very sad about that because I'm dying to see that movie, but Freeheld will do. Look forward to that. So I'm going on a date with my wife, and then this weekend there will be lots of partying because, you know, I'm starting my detox on Monday. So, <laughs> so I need to do all my drinking this weekend. Ugh, brain cells will be lost. We're having a barbecue on our roof again uh, tomorrow and then on, on Sunday we have a party at a friend's. So anyway, I need to wrap this up. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Have an excellent weekend. Look out for the Christmas anthology next week. And if you're on my launch team, look out for Release the Stars. Thank you for watching. Have a great weekend. Peace out. <laughs>